what I used to have the channel name for like a year or two but it's because God is still doing that always and that's his goal tell yourself um, whenever it comes out of my mouth just know that's why um I got into the habit of it I guess but he sometimes will let it come out of my mouth but God bless you guys father we just thank you for this word Lord we thank you for those who are uh, watching who would be on the live and the replay father we just thank you for feeding your sheep he said come on and feed my sheep he said to feed you guys okay because he's giving me a lot a lot a lot a lot so god bless you guys so much so and it's been weeks but because of the warfare and to push through in the spirit to deliver what's about to happen on the earth you know you gotta go through it as a prophet or a believer you know a child of god before in silence and then, you know, he wants me now to release it because there's an overflow that is here. So look at hallelujah. Right? As you can see the word, it says that you are the apple they took a bite of. Hallelujah. You are the apple they took a bite of. But now you shall recover and recover all. Right? I just couldn't fit that in the title. But God said, now you shall recover and recover all. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just thank you. God bless you guys. I love you. Thank you. God bless you, John. That means a lot to me because, man, what I'm about to release, not on this, but just in the next couple of, well, this whole year, God's not playing. And um, because he is coming back swiftly with a mighty sword and he is arming up his people. Hallelujah. He is arming you guys up. So no matter where you are, no matter what is going on, just know that our God is conqueror. He is mighty. Okay, his word does not lie. Hallelujah. His word is bond. His word cannot fail. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the strength to feed your sheep, Lord, to feed one another in the body of Christ, Lord, for the remnant to be restored, to be recovered. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, right? Our Father is saying that he knows, right? And, and when he said this to me, it's something I experienced years ago and over the past three years since 2021 because see the enemy knew what god was going to release then but god allowed it for a major massive testing and for the the rain that's about to pour out in this season hallelujah we know that right whatever the enemy steals or takes or or tries to kill he has to repay a thousand fold right he has to repay hallelujah Thank you guys. God bless you. And I just want to I just want to thank you guys for your prayers, your support because I cannot do this without you guys and your obedience to God and you know, it's him in different seasons he has me do different things, but this is how he's really pushing me to fully step out and 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 fully so do what he's calling me to do now and um I, you know, and in order to do that, like it's a blessing. So, and just know that for those who supported, you probably saw a post. It will bless you as well because it's part of an obedience test, not just for me, but for you guys as well. So, God bless you guys, all who support the channel, who support me financially, spiritually, like prayers. Like you don't understand the amount of prayer. Like <laughs> I know because and the prayers that I give to you guys, but but through the holy spirit because the level of witchcraft right and the level of and not i'm not talking about this is not even witchcraft from enemies this is from people close to you and your family right we know this is the season of the joseph the jobs and um and with joseph how he was betrayed on every side hallelujah and so god's saying right remember that you right you some of you guys were wondering like what is going on in my life and god is saying it was you they were threatened by you okay you are the apple of his eye right a lot of us you know we've humbled ourselves we don't want to be puffed up or think but god said in his word hallelujah that we are his his children his beloved we are the apple of his eye and so they launched a massive attack hallelujah thank you yes absolutely uh to thine own self be true they launched a massive attack so the enemy always tries to come before something launches or in the midst of it or before but but see what they don't understand what god ordains to happen in his perfect timing must come to pass nothing can stop it it only builds you greater so living God, it only builds you greater so for those of you many of you that you have been <laughs> battle weary 
side, I mean every side, right? Whether it was the job you were in, maybe the, the environment you were living in, you were getting attacked. <sighs> Jesus, Whew, I feel it, you know, the family members you were around, God bless you guys, thank you. The family members, like this is no joke. And I know you know this, God's saying, you were the apple. He wants you to understand your value, your worth, beloved, okay? Because he is coming for his people. He is coming for his people. He is coming for his bride. He is coming for the remnant. Like, oh my God, I'm shaking right now because there is so much that's about to be released. So much in this earth because I, he put me in the spirit the last two weeks so deeply. I mean, I've known it for years, but to physically experience it and the release of it, is no joke okay and so specifically what is about to happen in the u.s but across the earth hallelujah right and god is protecting his people on every side because this is also tied to you know some of the things the enemy wants to still do but we know that whatever the enemy does god is protecting his people and he god is saying you are covered just like you were covered the last three four years and like i said this the attack specifically started in 2021 why i believe because of that countdown god said he you know the enemy kind of knew that god was propelling his people and he tried to come in and he sent agents okay he sent uh, agents to try to come in and you know come into your life whether it's personally or you know through an opportunity or whatever you'll know because this word god has already said this to you god has already in some sense said you were the apple like you thought maybe it was some circumstance or you trying to figure out well maybe it's just people hating on me no god was like it's because of you your purpose it's because of where i'm taking you it's where i'm calling you to hallelujah absolutely you felt a weight lifted in the spirit amen exactly because god is saying i've come to recover all for my people i've come to deliver you hallelujah so that you might continue to do the works that i've called you to do to continue to to pray fast, to continue to, to submit to him, continue to be in fellowship with one another. Hallelujah. So he's just saying like, no, he wants, he, he he's sharing this because he's saying, I want you to know who you are. Like some of you knew that and then it's like the enemy was trying to make you forget it. Okay, not necessarily your full identity, but just in your trying to be meek and humble and you know, God's like, you forgot where I placed you. I placed you on high. You are my child. I will never leave or forsake you. And so the enemy was envious of that. They were jealous of it. And a lot of this was, again, because you were Joseph's. A lot of you are Joseph's in your family. And so the people around you saw this. Yes, the Jeremiah 27, 5. People around you saw this. And some of them tapped into witchcraft to see it, right? They saw your star. Like, if you don't know about the star, like, I don't talk about it a lot. Cause, but remember, Jesus had a star that the... The, um, the the magi they followed his star right so and I don't know a lot about this so but God just has shown me over the years like everyone has a star just like he did because why we are like him we were created to be like him and follow him right but we don't look at those things but some of these people went to the enemy to divination God saying right to try to understand and figure out who you are but God's like it doesn't matter what glimpse they got. It doesn't even matter if they tried to mimic you. They tried to be you. They tried to manipulate in the spirit realm to um, take your blessing. God's like, I'm restoring all of it now. Because that's exactly what happened on a mass level, okay? This was a massive assault. I have several words, but <laughs> that's attached to this one because he's like, I want you to release it, but then I, I'm going to have you armor up my people because the enemy thinks he can stop what's about to happen. And I just where I just went, he was showing me massively the dragon spirit, okay? And we know the dragon in Revelation that there's a war in heaven and that's been happening, but that the Michael fought him and the enemy, the dragon was thrown down to the earth, right? To wage war with the saints, okay? And so that is what kind of happened. Like the remnant experienced that, but you didn't even fully know. Like it was the like literally Satan, okay? And his minions that came against the remnant. But God said, I put, I just like in Revelation, I think it's 12 or yeah, that he took you away, right? He took the like the woman away for a time and a season so that, you couldn't be completely um, 
annihilated, <laughs> right? God saved your spirit. God saved your soul. Hallelujah. Because the enemy is trying to suck, to leech from the remnant and the remnant's anointing, the remnant's gifts, the remnant's um, purpose. And God is saying, I will not have it. Okay. I will not have it. And more and more of you are going to see this. You're going to understand what I'm talking about. Um, and some of the other words will make sense. He wanted me to break it up how he's given it to me. So I'm not going to say everything in this word. But he wanted you to know, whew, Jesus, my God, how much he loves you. And that that is why the enemy came for you through people, okay? Through people, through circumstances, right? Yes, the living God, but he's protected you. No matter, a lot of you, we went through the attack, right? And that's what God said that, you know, I will be with you. I will never leave or forsake you, right? I, I will go through it with you. And we've cried out, or some of you cried out like, Lord, Lord, like, why did I have to go through this? Why? And I, honestly, God's like, he's gonna, the, the other word I just gave about extreme clarity, the Holy Spirit has already been clarifying this for you, but he's gonna clarify even more why because you had to be made a warrior a soldier in the army of heaven do you understand because what's about to take place is no joke is no joke like this is an hour yes god is healing and he's recovering all because he knows his saints have been battle weary so for for those who have been battling and have gone through this like you the apple that they you know they took from you you, you meaning your essence your virtues your gifts they were stealing your you know your finances your talent in the spirit and so that's why nothing was coming through right god's breaking all that off now in the mighty name of jesus it is done guys it is finished hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus no witch no warlock no devil no demon no family member no nobody can steal from you any longer said the living god no one no one that's why he says when the thief is caught the thief has been caught, says the living God. The thief has been caught. Hallelujah. And when the thief has been caught, he has to repay. He has to repay. Hallelujah. And this is the hour of a mighty repayment. People of God, hear me loud and clear. This is the hour of a mighty repayment, mighty recompense. Hallelujah. This season, this hour, I'm talking swiftly, swiftly. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. So God is saying, do not sit there and don't cry. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. Pick up the tactics that I've given you of your warfare. Get in this word. This word is meat. This word is life. You will not die if you faint not. If you pick this word up every day and you speak life, God is saying, you speak out of your mouth what I show you every day and the devil has to flee. Hallelujah. He has to flee. Hallelujah. Because God showed me, he said he's doing a quick work, hallelujah, and that your life is off limits. God is saying your life is off limits from the devil. Yes, the enemy tried to come for you because you were, you were the apple of God's eye. But he told the devil, back up in the mighty name of Jesus. Back up, devil. Hallelujah. He, he, the devil cannot touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are off limits. Hallelujah. You are off limits, says the living God. Hallelujah. Your life is off limits. From the devil, hallelujah, and all his minions, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is saying, stand on his word, stand on what he promised you, because you shall see it in the land of the living, not just in heaven. Okay, God didn't, in his word, he didn't just say, well, we're just going to pass away and that's it. No, the devil is a liar. He said, now on this earth, hallelujah, now, because the earth belongs to you, Know that. God say, know that. Know your authority. Know your worth. Hallelujah. That is why the battle came against you. And that is what God is saying. You must use it to step up, to get up. Hallelujah. To wake up. Because nothing is going to stop this move. Nothing, says the living God. Hallelujah. You have to stand on the promises that God shows you. And you have to stand on his word. Because the devil is... He has to move. He has to back up. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that they fired at you, every arrow is going to be sent back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Never to return again. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is saying you are mighty warriors. I need you to get up and stand up and claim that in the mighty name and be it. Not just claim it. You are it already in the spirit. Hallelujah. Now is the hour you shall arise, says the living God. Hallelujah. And you will speak life.
life. You will speak life into your situation. Hallelujah. And God was saying this so much. This is not something. He's given you these tactics again to wake up. But he's like, this is not something you're going to do. Because I saw what they did. I saw it. I saw everything. I saw the manipulation. I saw the witchcraft, the spells, the voodoo, the hex, all of it. Whatever. It is null and void. All of it. Hallelujah. Right? This is, again, it's not just like random people. It's people around you that are close. Even if you let one person in, God showed you. God said, block them, block them. Okay? Because he is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. We have no time for the demonic spirits of wickedness, of jealousy, of envy. No. In the kingdom of God, we all have a position. We all purpose. We all have power and authority. So use it, says the living God. Hallelujah. Use it. Right? This is not a the time to be coveting, right? And, and to looking to the left or the right. God is saying, look forward. Press towards the mark of the high calling. Because they are not going to take another bite out of you. Best believe that. Because now you shall arise, said the living God. They will not take another bite out of you. Hallelujah. Because now you know better also. You know the tactics of the enemy. Hallelujah. And God is going to continue to teach you through his Holy Spirit way ahead of time when before the enemy comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it resonates so much. I feel, <laughs> whew, I could run the mile right now. I tell you, because I've lived this. And I lived it because we all, because he wanted me to preach and teach it to you guys and armor you up. But, <laughs> you know, we're all one in the body anyway, in the remnant. Hallelujah. Yes, the scales have weighed in our favor because we were found not guilty of anything, right? The devil just came in like a flood, but he's going to have his day. Hallelujah. He's going to have his day where he's going to rule the day he ever laid a hand on you. Do you hear me? God ain't playing with you. God is not playing with him about touching you. About what is it? Touch not my anointed. That's not just for people. That's for the devil. Okay, that's for his, the enemy and his minions. Hallelujah. So God is saying, I'm recovering all in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Exactly. Amen. Had to experience it to witness it. Yeah, exactly. Because you can't, I can't sit up on this camera and just talk randomness and I haven't experienced it. Okay. Like, that's why I don't, I don't just come on for no reason. Oh, Jesus. But he gave me scripture to, for you guys, because he's saying that this is about like Zion's deliverance. Okay. And when you hear deliverance, it doesn't mean you did something necessarily wrong. He's like, literally, I took you back. I bought you back from the enemy. I bought you back from the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Uh, Zechariah chapter 10 Zechariah chapter 10, verse 9 to 5. Hallelujah. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 9 to 5. To verse 5 to 9. And they shall be as mighty men. And they shall be as mighty men. Men meaning, okay, we know men and mankind in Hebrew is both men, male and female, okay? If you don't know that. And they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mar of the streets in the battle. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them and the riders on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph and I will bring them again to the place, them again to the place for I have mercy upon them and they shall be as though I have not cast them off. For I am the Lord their God and will hear them. Hallelujah. And they of Ephraim, this is important, and they of Ephraim shall be a mighty man and their heart shall rejoice as though as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. I will hiss, meaning the Lord will hiss for them and gather them. And I have redeemed them. Hallelujah. And they shall increase as they had increased. And they shall increase as they had increased. Hallelujah. As they have. Why God saying it? Because the enemy, the enemy tried to take your increase and he cannot. He tried to hide it. He tried to steal it for years. And God's saying that's why it's going to come back mightily like a flood of, of, of 
provision and overflow like you've never seen hallelujah and i will sow them among the people right he's gonna give you again again god poured you out like a drink offering but he's gonna give you as a gift hallelujah i will sow them unto the people and they shall be remembered and they shall remember me in far countries and they shall live again they shall live with their children and turn away i will bring them this is verse 10 i will bring them again also out of the land of egypt and gather them out of syria and i will bring them into the land of gilead and lebanon and a place that shall be found for them hallelujah right so god has redeemed you he's redeemed you out of egypt once more hallelujah right because when the enemy came in like a flood right and this was spiritual but then those just were literal things that happened since 2021 some of you maybe a little earlier right that the enemy came in and took you but god said i redeemed i bought you back hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah and a lot of it yes was through financial things it was through relationship it was like everything okay so god is saying i've come to recover it all hallelujah to recover your children hallelujah to bring you to a place of milk and honey hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus yes thank you i did receive them god bless you guys god bless you guys for everyone that sowed and supported hallelujah right god is saying i'm bringing you to a place that you have never seen before why because the enemy was trying to he was trying to make you not see it but you already knew because god gave you the dreams the vision before this happened before these attacks so you know that's why you know god's saying i he knows you were like well where is it lord well, why isn't it happening over the last couple of years but god he allowed it so to strengthen you hallelujah to strengthen you right because we are not just here to receive we're here to give yes but we're not just here for that we're here to build his house to build through his holy temple to build his people we are here for the, the awakening and the harvesting of the souls that is taking place now but it's about to <laughs> my god it's about to pour out like never before hallelujah it's about to, his spirit is so powerful so potent hallelujah so he needed it to recover everything so that you can continue and go out and do even greater hallelujah hallelujah so god is saying yes and i saw that many of you because of this because of that bite right the enemy took a bite out of you that it just almost laid you out it almost laid you out but god okay but god because it's really tied to what's in revelation where it says that you know the enemy would try to wear out the saints but he can't because god's strength is in you god's holy spirit is in you they can't take away from you and that's what they were trying to do they cannot the devil is a liar they cannot hallelujah and this was to also show how greater our god is our god is greater our god is stronger just like that song's come on my mind he is higher than any other god any false god hallelujah so he wanted you to know that but he he was he was telling the enemy like no because of course when the enemy comes against us he's coming against god right he hates the enemy hates god right he wants to be him so that's why he attacked the thing god loves you you but god is saying i i have got you covered i've got you cocoon and now hallelujah hallelujah now i will recover everything hallelujah we release healing over your mind your body and your spirit hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus God is saying, do not give up. Do not give up. Do not be weary in well-doing. And he literally said, at this point, when you hear this word and you go back to God, because he's going to say this or he has said this to you. He's saying, be still. Meaning, you, you do the things he told you. He's making you aware because that's what he does to enlighten and, and bring you knowledge and wisdom of what has happened so you don't go astray, so you don't lose hope, so you don't lose faith. But he's saying, beloved, I'm literally going to hand it back to you. The thief has been caught and I'm literally going to hand it right back to you in, in, in beyond what you can think, ask, think or imagine beyond that. Hallelujah. Because our father is faithful. He is just 
and his word cannot lie. So he's saying to be still, right? Scripture that says, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. When I had the last two weeks, when I had the, he took me in the spirit, but it was like I was in the spirit, in a vision, in real life. So it's not like I was dreaming it. I was literally experiencing it, okay? <sighs> Jesus. So he could have me teach what they're trying to do, but he's blocking it, okay? And he's preparing us. But some life-threatening thing, like literally life-threatening things, okay? But he said, be still. They cannot touch you. They cannot touch you. They can try to put it in front of your face, what they want to do to you. They can flaunt it in the spirit. But the devil is a lie. It's not going to manifest and it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. It's already backfiring in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is saying, know that, beloved. Know who you are to him. That's why he wanted you to be in a personal relationship. Because if you're not in a personal relationship and things come against you, you're going to be like, okay, God, I don't know where you are. No, when you know God loves you, you're like, all right, I'm going to sit here. Because it's not in your own strength. It's not by might nor by power, but by the Holy Spirit. Yes, A.D. Moore, the harassment is astounding. It's ridiculous, right? But God is saying, just sit back and laugh. <laughs> just sit back and laugh at these devils. That's what you need to do. Because they can't stop God. That's what God is. He's just showing his power. He is all powerful. He is mighty. And he made you to be a mighty warrior. Hallelujah. 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 So nothing is going to touch you, says the living God. Though it may seem like it came close, they cannot take your life. They cannot touch you. And the enemy has been caught red-handed. Red-handed. Hallelujah. So he now has to repay by legal rights in the courts of heaven. He has to repay and a thousandfold, triple, double. Do you hear me? Okay, so you better claim, you better receive that. God's saying sit still and watch my mighty hand over your life. Sit still. As long as you are in obedience to him, as long as you give up the things he said give up, as long as you're like, okay, Lord, I'm going to obey you. Whatever he's telling you to do. Listen, <laughs> yes, Ebony, God is the biggest flex. He is almighty. Do you hear me? Nothing can touch God. Nothing can touch you because you're in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did he say in Revelation? He's coming back with a sword. Okay, he's not coming back with cute rainbows and puppies and kittens. Yeah, he's going to deliver those cute things to the remnant because he's healing you right now. But when he comes back, he comes back with that sword, baby. He's coming back with this sword. I tell you. And it's time. Because he said it's time. Hallelujah. Because of the wickedness. Man, we're not. Hmm, Jesus. And it starts in the spirit. There's a lot of wickedness that, you know, in the second heaven and that they try to do manipulating destinies and all this but God's like I'm done with that I'm swiping that out hallelujah it is done it is reversed and backfired now they will feel my wrath said the living God hallelujah they will feel God's wrath hallelujah so God's saying sit still sit still like this is the that's why he said to release forgive because it's like okay you're behind your daddy, basically. I'm just, I'm just sit behind my daddy. I'm gonna sit behind my daddy because he got this. <laughs> That's what he's telling you. Just like he told, nope. I called you to do this. I told you to do this. I don't care what they say. I don't care who they think they are. I told you to do it. So once you obey me, once you trust me, just sit back and trust him because he is your great vindicator. And he's about to show you. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yes. He is in absolute control. And that's where he wanted you to realize that, uh, that ultimate place. Like, Lord, you are, you don't play. He doesn't play. He doesn't play. There's nobody like him in this universe. Okay. These people out here in the world think they know. They don't have anything on God. They don't know nothing when god shows them and he's coming soon to show them oh man yes he's about to show up mighty 
Do you hear me? Mighty. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why he's saying rejoice. Yes, I see that, Gina. He's saying rejoice and be still. I'm just giving you, I'm just clearing up some stuff. I'm just giving you understanding and wisdom, right? I'm just confirming some things that I've already spoken to you in your dream visions. And I'm just, you know, <laughs> strengthening you. Thank you, Hilton. I'm strengthening you for this next level. Because he's like, level up. It's time to level up, baby, okay? If they came for you that hard, <laughs> if they came for you that hard, man, you have something powerful inside of you by the Holy Spirit. Do you hear me? <laughs> Lock arms, women of God. Lock arms, men of God. Listen, the devil cannot win. He can never win. And his minions, his agents, his side swipers, whatever, none of them can win against God's army. Hallelujah. Remember, only a third of the angels fell, okay? Only a third. There is more with us than there is against us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy. Yeah, now I'm going to teach on that about the psychology world and what they are doing because they use that a lot. Um, with witchcraft and divination to try to manipulate people the people of God because they know who we are But God's like don't worry. That's why I'm gonna teach you my tactics I'm gonna let you know So you can withstand, withstand the walls of the evil one. They cannot Hallelujah Hallelujah. Yes, our father has all power all authority all authority so we give none. We give no slack to the devil. We give nothing. He gets nothing. Hallelujah. You give him nothing. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. Yeah, it's shocking how many people are deceived and, and, and stepped into the, you know, the enemy's camp. But God is coming to pull some of them out because some of them are blinded. They're asleep. They don't know. Now, yeah, a lot of the close ones, they know. But... A lot of them don't, they're asleep. God's like, they put them to sleep to manipulate them, to use them. And he literally showed me how, because I've learned some, yeah, he showed me how I'm going to teach y'all, okay? So, and some of y'all probably know this already or picked up on how, but they're, they're dead. They're like walking zombies so he can come in like a port in and out, you know, and monitor you and other people. But God's like, just, that's why I say to be quiet. When I say be quiet and, you know, don't give anything because they're listening, they're monitoring. Well, I've talked about this in other words the past years through phone, you know, TV, whatever, all of it, technology. Yeah, so God wants you to rest. He wants you to rest, to know who you are, beloved. That He has taken you out of the wilderness. You are not in wilderness, okay? You are not in wilderness. Because God, that's what God showed me. It's a mirage. The devil wanted to put a mirage in front of your eyes to make you think, oh, okay, I'm still, Lord, am I still, what? I didn't, I didn't get out of that yet? No. Because of, like, the enemy wanted you to look at lack. And God's like, no, don't look at that. Speak life. Hallelujah. Stand on my word and wait for it. Because it must, it must come to pass. It's an appointed time. And see, the enemy knew that. So he's trying to wear you out before that appointed time. But God's saying, no, I've come to deliver you. I've come to strengthen you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not give up. You will not stop here. Hallelujah. You continue to press towards the mark of the high calling. You continue to press in my word. You continue to press in prayer and fasting. You must fast. Do you hear me? I don't care who you are, what you think. You have to fast. This is a spiritual battle. And if you don't fast, you ain't going to make it. I'm sorry. Because I know if I didn't fast the way I fast in certain seasons, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Because God will open your eyes, okay? And then it's a way to take away the sleep that the enemy has lulled the earth to sleep with, with, with all this stuff and technology and stuff in the air and the water and all this blah, 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 whatever. He can kick rocks. That's all I can say. Because <laughs> God, God built your body so powerfully. That's why they hate you. He built your body so powerfully to rejuvenate itself. And yes, the enemy wants some of you. I know in your body you need healing. God, there's an appointed time for your healing. Okay? There's an appointed time for your healing as well. But some of you, it's because maybe the people you're around, they don't have faith. Remember when Jesus healed, he said, get out. He told some of the people, 
get out because why you don't have faith so if jesus himself who is the great healer told people who lack faith to get out so he could heal that means there's something about the atmosphere that has to be charged okay that has to be charged so some of you you're in places where people don't even believe in healing they speak death over you they speak you know why are you still believing that god don't do you need to walk away and try to remove yourself you need to block here you need to remove any thinking that they have spoken over you about whether or not god is going to come and heal you the devil is a liar hallelujah and you need to get in his word and because he's he is preparing his people. He's preparing a body for mighty miracles. And healing is a huge, huge part of that for this outpouring that's about to happen. Hallelujah. Yes, and, and we know that, you know, demons, they come out through prayer and fasting, okay? And then there's other type of fast, which I say all the time. It's, it's for, you know, giving, okay, to the widows, the orphans, or whoever else God says to give to, okay? So it's, it's not just one, like, lack of food. So, but it's essential because why it quiets the flesh. Do you hear me? And the stuff they put in this food and the meat in particular, okay? So, but God's just like, yes, you were the apple they took a bite of, but he's coming to recover it all. Hallelujah. He's coming to redeem you. He is coming to deliver you, you and your household, you and your children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So do not be dismayed. Do not worry you lack nothing do you hear me you are rich you are rich in the spirit and you are rich in the natural period and i said before you are rich because you have christ jesus you are wealthy forget rich you're wealthy okay whatever you have an abundant life you are an abundant source you multiply everything that comes into your atmosphere you multiply it and see the devil didn't want you to see that he just wanted to take 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 and god like no what i give you 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 multiply that seed and that's why i give it to you hallelujah so don't forget that, says the living God. And if you need to renew your mind in the word of God to understand what that means and who you are, do it. Right? God was reminding me today of the the, the 5,000, right? That he He fed the 5,000. And he that miracle, that multiplication. I did a word on the power of multiplication last year, I believe. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Hallelujah. Yes, you have to know who you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he's coming, he's saying, I give you things because you multiply, you grow, you increase it. And there's an appointed time and a season for everything under the sun. And this is that hour where he's coming to deliver mightily, swiftly, and to recover all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we are a distribution center. Amen. A gift and a blessing. Exactly. And see, again, that those are the things that the enemy wanted you not to see because of the years of attacks and lies. And the it was just an onslaught of word curses. And we cancel all word curses, all demonic curses, everything. In the mighty name of Jesus that was spoken over your life, over your children, over your family, over your business. We cancel it now. We cut it out at the root. Hallelujah. You shall, God said, you shall reap the harvest he has ordained. It is ordained for you to reap a specific harvest. Do you hear me? And I, this is not just financial, but that's part of it. But, but there's specific people that you are assigned to that you have to go and redeem, okay? By your testimony, by your life. Hallelujah. Exactly. Double as women. Exactly. Yes, that's what I mean, Kimberly. Yep. Because cause we get, we, we you know the male gives us the, the the seed and we we have it in our womb for nine months we cultivate it hallelujah and we birth it forth right with the help of the holy spirit so god is just saying <laughs> beloved know who you are know that yes they came for you but god saw it all and he has come to recover all now at a, the appointed time the appointed hour hallelujah it is an appointed time says the living god all you need to do is sit, he just sits again, sit still and watch my hand. Watch my hand over your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, the scales are off your eyes now. Exactly. Amen. Yes, yeah, some of these people that the enemy tried to use to take a bite out of you, <laughs> they just wicked. They're, and they're so, because they're so manipulative of the word of God, of who they say they are. Right? So you have to have spiritual eyes. That's why you have to, like I said, you have to fat, you have to be in the spirit. Like 
up on you gotta be up there because yeah they tried they tried it but god's like no i only did it because god allows it so he can bring you up higher in your spirit in the natural and the work the things you have to do so you need to know what's in the enemy's camp you have to know you can withstand the wild of the evil one hallelujah this is not a <laughs> how say, this is not a cupcake show <laughs> okay we're not little cupcakes we might be cute and look like cup but we're not cupcakes the devil is a liar okay and that's what he went wrong he thought <laughs> he thought you were meek and humble so you didn't know he thought Oh, you're just going to lay down and take whatever he gives you. No. Or whatever he steals from you. No. God is almighty and he is in control. Hallelujah. They don't know. Exactly. Right? What did the scripture say? God said, be, be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. And that's what he's made his remnant to be. Hallelujah. You are wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove, beloved. Hallelujah. You beautiful men and women of God, I tell you, you don't even know yet. Oh my God, what God's about to unleash on these devils. Woo, Jesus. Mm. He just said, yes. He's, Take your staff. Hallelujah. He is smiting them. Hallelujah. He is about to smite them. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for putting that up because I was I was laughing because literally when I was experiencing some of this stuff the last two weeks and when it was ending, God God made that um, MC Hammer song play. Can't touch this. And you just wrote it. Ephesians 6. Exactly. Exactly. Right? God literally said that to me. Can't touch this. Because the, the enemy cannot touch you. And I was just cracking up. I was just walking into an area. He told me to, and he just had that song playing. Hallelujah. MC Hammer. And then he said, like, I'm bringing the hammer down on the enemy. God is bringing the hammer down on the enemy. Hallelujah. Right? Yes, the dragon spirit wants to be released. But God like, no, my people are protected. You're covered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, they think, at least I saw that, they think, yep, and they've gotten away with murder, but they have not. I, oh, I have a deep teaching about that. Ooh, Jesus. And a lot of this is tied, it's so, so interconnected. It's not just about the personal uh, individual remnant or the church even. It's because of your power, the power that the Holy Spirit gave you, but also how it's tied to the nations and the kings and priests of the earth. It's so deep. It's crazy. And I'm gonna, yeah, it's God's like, it's time to release it because they, they were trying to do it again, but God stopped it. He's like, no, you will not get away with it this time. I allowed it then, but it's not happening now. Hallelujah. Uh, God sent you a Rick Roll song. I'm like, yeah, God's funny. He'll, he'll use certain things. You're like, what? Because, you know, we're out in public and they play in music and whatever. And it's different places. So he'll use what he, he wants to use to speak to you. Hallelujah right but god's like no beloved his anger has come upon the enemy his wrath hallelujah so all you need to do is sit still beloved you are protected you're covered you're sealed in the blood of the lamb in the blood of the lamb hallelujah hallelujah yeah so he was reminding me so for some of you if you don't you know anoint yourself with olive oil you know take communion hallelujah it's the beginning of another month, but it's not even about that. It's like, just do it because it draws you closer. It's very powerful to, to, to do that in remembrance of what our Lord and Savior did. Hallelujah. Absolutely. He will give us double. I saw, yeah, amen. So God's saying, be expectant, rejoice, and just sit still. Watch. And again, as long as you're in obedience and you're doing what God says. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know it don't be. I know Felicia, but and you just got to laugh like, y'all funny. Like, you don't even have a clue. A lot of people are asleep, but God's like, oh, I'm going to wake them up. Oh, I'm about to wake them up real good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why he said pray, but he's like, okay, just sit back now and let my will be done. So, Father, we just thank you. Your will be done. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it's two different worlds because it's two different kingdoms, right? We are in the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of light. They're in the kingdom of darkness. <sighs> Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Yeah, they're not awake. So a lot of them are not. They're walking zombies. So the Holy Spirit is going to come to wake them up and they have to make a choice. Because God, he's so merciful and just. He, you know, just like he gave us choice. And yes, he chose us, but we still had to choose. And when we went through our testing and still do, we still have to keep choosing him. But, amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise fit. God bless you. Yeah, God was like, no, go on, feed it. Because I, I felt it. I was like, okay. I mean, I've had these words, but he's like, not yet, not yet, not yet. I've had them for weeks. And... And I had to complete what he had me complete. And then the enemy, I felt that he was trying to make me like, oh no, just go on tomorrow. I was like, no devil. I'm going to, God said, <laughs> go on. So, amen. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. I have I have other words. So I'm, I think I have one more I'll release. Cause, and I'm doing it live because I'm I need to get storage for my phone. So, But I think he wants me to do live anyway because it's better. I can interact with you guys. Um... So God bless you guys. Yes, you anointed your home. Amen. Yep. With oil and you just put the blood of Jesus over it. If you don't have oil right now, you can go get that. But make sure you pray over the oil, extra virgin olive oil. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Like you don't have to. Like I let him lead me. Like it's not like I'm sitting here and be like, oh, buy this brand. or No, just let the Holy Spirit lead you. Hallelujah. Amen, Danielle. The biggest alarm clock ever. <laughs> yes. God's like, wake up there's a song oh man you, yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you. okay there's a song by trip lee he's a, a christian rapper um and I, I had listened to him years ago in 2015 16 and he has a song called sweet victory which man got me through some rough times when i was with my ex ex my ex husband um uh, living in that house but then I, I didn't listen to you know him or anybody and then recently this year end of last year this year god brought him back around because he has a new album and there's a song he and again i don't know him or anything i'm just saying he lord wanted me to share there's a song and you should listen to it it's powerful um and it's prophetic it's called wake up because it says wake up wake up wake wake up wake up wake up don't sleep with another lie don't you know like wake up don't sleep with another lie whether it's the lie of the enemy speaking in your ear whether it's a lie of you know, a counterfeit, whether it's a lie of a counterfeit job, whatever it is, a lie of you won't fulfill your destiny. So I would recommend you go Tripoli, just like how it sounds. I'll link it if I, oh, you like Tripoli? Yeah. It's called Wake Up, literally, the song. It's called Wake Up. So this is that our God is waking up. <laughs> Woo! Jesus. He's waking everybody up, like, because he, he's at, he is at the door. This is no joke. And I love it because we've been waiting for this. There's nothing to be afraid of because you're in Christ Jesus. That's the beauty. Now, the other people, you better they need to be afraid because they think, oh, devil's all, because the devil got them twisted thinking he's all powerful and, you know, because he got the world and he got this and that. And no, they ain't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah. They ain't seen nothing yet. God instructed you to anoint your home at the beginning of January. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, he did that um, in January. He did that mightily because, <laughs> thank you, Zara. He did that because of what they're, they want, again, I don't want to say it on this video, but there was something they were trying to do they did in 2021, and it's so wicked. So wicked. I'm going to teach on it soon because it's wicked. But God stopped it. He, he had his people in position. I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna say <laughs> yeah it's already stopped because God was like no this is not their hour anymore their hour has passed this is the hour of the remnant hallelujah this is the hour of outpouring so that the souls can be harvested hallelujah hallelujah oh the non-christians well yeah absolutely that, that's why he's coming you know he's arming his people to go out in whatever way he calls you again remember ministry is not typical one way that um, you're going to minister to these people that they'll have a choice. The non-believers, not just the people who are doing wickedness.
and they know what they're doing they need to repent but the people who don't have a clue they don't realize they need jesus they think oh well you know i have money i have a house a car i have a job <laughs> i have accolades whatever i'm good i don't need jesus like who jesus yeah you're gonna see who jesus is real soon <laughs> okay real soon hallelujah hallelujah amen i love that katie yes okay she has a testimony i'm gonna read it because she says she has something to share she's all alone at home the lights were off because the bills weren't paid and she prayed and prayed and then boom the lights went on just like that amen katie that is yeah god is not joking and that testimony right there is something that god said that in this hour we need to do like how much your prayer is powerful because he's standing on it on guard to actually answer them okay so don't look at lack don't look at what you think you don't have because that's a lie it's a, a mirage hallelujah so that is so powerful amen thank you for sharing that god bless you yeah so just know you can't that's all that you can't serve two masters you can't you better choose jesus or the world okay and it's not you and you to understand what that really means you got to be really deeply rooted in god because you can't just go by what you see okay you need to know by the spirit before you misjudge someone or speak on someone or something you don't understand so i'm always careful to tell you guys that as well right you have to be in the spirit hallelujah yes banks he god said he showed me that he's having holy spirit rescue many and there's a word i gave in 2021 that heaven's rescue and it was coming to pass but like heaven is coming down right god is his angels on guard to protect his people to release to them what they need hallelujah so just know that our god is faithful he is our mighty warrior our mighty conqueror he loves you dearly he loves you dearly, right? And that's why the enemy came trying to take a bite out of you. <laughs> but God, God will restore everything like that in an instant. In an instant, God is saying, he's restoring everything. Hallelujah. Jesus, Father, we just thank you. We love you, honor you, we glorify you, Lord. We thank you that you saved us, that you allowed us to be saved, that you allowed us to choose rightly, choose justly. Jesus. Because nobody wants to be on the other side of God's wrath. Nobody. Do you hear me? Nobody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're canceling any attacks against our children right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any attacks against our households. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The devil think he got something? No. God's wave. I saw that God's wave is coming. God's wave of justice and recompense is coming. It's not, it's here. It's, it is here. Okay. And that's why some of you, you're seeing you testifying, but it's, it's on me on another scale that you, what, oh, just like the scripture says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Right. But for the people of God, it's not going to be, it's not going to be the same. It's, it's this, this trembling of all like God, whoa god god did this god only god only god could save you like this only god could redeem you like this hallelujah hallelujah yes uh, i see that h west god sent you into a certain church and it's a map yeah he's cleaning house in the churches everywhere everywhere hallelujah everywhere everywhere Hallelujah. So God, because God's like, no more compromising, no more backsliding, no more, none of it, none of it. I'm done. I'm done. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just thank you for dominion. We thank you for the authority of your word, your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your protection. According to Psalm 91, we thank you, Lord, that you come swiftly. <laughs> he comes swiftly. He's, he's coming swiftly. In Jesus' mighty name. So God bless you guys. <laughs> I love you, man. God is, he's something else, man. I can't wait. Like, that's why he's like, stand still and witness his salvation. Hallelujah. Stand still and witness his mighty hand in your life. Do you hear me? 
Hey Amen. You saw a sign in the chat today. It said Kairos. Yeah, exactly. 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 So God say, pay attention to what I'm showing you. Amen. Thank you, Monet. Well, God bless you guys. Center at gmail.com. And I will see you soon. God bless you guys. I love you. Shalom.